Have you ever wondered why our tax year starts on such a strange date as April the 6th? In America, France, Spain, Germany, and even the Channel Island of Jersey, the tax year aligns with the calendar year and starts on January the 1st. But not here in dear old Blighty. As befits the country with the world's most complex tax code, the way we arrived at April the 6th is not straightforward. We can blame landlords because since forever, they have collected rents on specific quarter days. March the 25th, June the 24th, September the 29th, and December the 25th. Because the March payment was the first of the year, that was taken to be the start of the financial year. Then, in 1582, Pope Gregory XIII decided that the Julian calendar, introduced by that nice Mr. Caesar, was past its sell-by date. He replaced it with the Gregorian calendar that we still use today. All was quick to adopt new European rules, Britain followed suit a mere 170 years later. By then, the Julian calendar was 11 days behind the Gregorian one. So when we made the switch in 1752, we simply lost 11 days, and the quarter day of March the 25th became April the 5th. Then there was a new problem, because 1800 was not a leap year, so we had to remove another day and ended up with April the 6th as the start of the tax year. You think I'm making this up, don't you? Perhaps as we move into this glorious age of making tax digital, we could revisit this analog anomaly and do something radical, like Happy New Year, Happy New Tax Year? Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see some previous episodes, click here. But don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes.